let's talk about uh, currently, how do they address from one blockchain to another blockchain? And, and very clearly, the only way right now is smart contract, right? A smart yeah, contract on yeah. one blockchain, a smart contract yeah. on the other blockchain, and then the interoperability is between those two smart contracts. So yeah, and it's, it's, uh, it's, originally it was like an oracle so actually originally uh it's almost people <laughs> to get from that's right i think the first one i saw was rootstock right to get to their evm it was a bitcoin based uh evm it was a few uh multi-sig wallets and and it was scripts moving funds uh minting and burning as, as needed on the on the side chain it's now gotten way better so we definitely have to admit that it's better in that What's now happening is there's actual smart contracts on one platform, smart contract on another platform, an Oracle system, which could be a single node or a computer being the Oracle or more mod or in a more modern context, it's a, it's a network of right, nodes a relay your that network. are yeah. relaying information from one blockchain to another. It's hard to disrupt because it's a network of them. It's redundant in that way. It, it in and of itself kind of works like a blockchain itself. Um, and so it's, it's pretty reliable in that, uh, it needs to communicate, uh, from one blockchain to another, but you are still relying on a very centralized methodology by which to who wrote the smart contracts, who owns the nodes in the relay networks, that kind of stuff is still kind of very pertinent. Yeah. That's, that's not how it works for Divi side chains. What random string found allow us to envision, um, like a network, like an interoperability that yeah. actually allows every chain to be connected with every chain theoretically, right? That's obviously not the most efficient way, but having a system that where a chain can connect to another chain, if there is a purpose for that. Right. And so that's true. It, it is very different and it doesn't rely on oracles, which uh, when you were, um, when you were mentioning um, the, um, the oracles, right? And you were mentioning that it works basically like a blockchain. In fact, there is one thing that is extremely different is that Oracle, you cannot audit Oracle, right? So yeah. it, it is a very, very uh, big weakness. So obviously it is great. And, and I think that's also something we mentioned last time. These are all part of the trust minimized technologies right correct like you have a smart contract and then that smart contract is, the keys for the smart contract they are not held by one person but actually they are in a multi-sig wallet which is distributed over a network so they're trying to minimize the centralized points but but unfortunately until until now they weren't able to find uh, the proper technology that would enable them to get rid of those of those points and this is what DV will bring, right? Like our, our partner, it definitely has this technology and will bring um, the complete <clears throat> interoperability of all assets for blockchain. Mm. I am not a fan of any of those networks. I can see the weaknesses in all of those networks. I can understand how those networks come together. There is other technologies out there. They've never come to fruition the way that we needed it. And what this partner has provided is a, in a way, a much better infrastructure, a much more flexible uh, uh, communication between blockchains, a much more robust and decentralized process. Everything that's decentralized, even as we talked about when we got started, depends upon participation. So when you have one person, it's centralized. When you have thousands, it becomes more and more distributed and decentralized so you know there, there's ways to do it but i'm not a fan of these other ecosystems i think they have great technology but when it comes down to being perfectly or purely trustless or when it comes down to making sure that it has the robustness and still is decentralized they each have their weaknesses which i think as this technology grows and as it's integrated, will provide us with all the same things that Satoshi would have thought about.